Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kamesh from Kamesh Things YouTube channel. So in this video, we have an exciting topic for the aspiring students from Manana City or any other colleges for their college internships. So internships are the most important thing in college life, which is a far better thing than learning a skill, which you're going to implement in a technical sector. So after posting my this video in my YouTube channel, I used to get a lot of emails like comment sections and my Instagram and WhatsApp, and especially my juniors were asking about the how do you got internships like at NIT and uh, how what you will learn from there what have the skills you need to go there and what is the main thing which we learn need to learn to get into an internship in a working sector for especially like uh, in the institutions like NIT Trichy NIT Trichy is one of the best colleges for their academic performance as well as their uh, skill based knowledge so as a student you should go for any nits or iit will actually boost up your skill where you meet a lot and lot of people regarding your career path and your skill where you can interact with them and you can learn a lot of things from them first thing understand the landscape of nit to see how they are used to take the student from the outside campus to uh, do their internship how to get into this internship every year this nit used to post an recruitment poster like uh we we are searching for candidates in like their website actually first they would put in the website and some people will used to post in linkedin so actually i have got this information from my uh college where uh, they used to forward this message that nit is recruiting an intern in my second year i still have that two months of holidays for my internships so while i'm searching for internships thank god i have gotten a link that from my uh management that nit is recruiting So after I have uh, get into the link, I have seen the NIT web page and NIT like completely what we should do, what are the formalities we should do. I have seen that, and after that you should register that uh, all the things like your name and your details and your, uh, what's your academic performance and what you are doing right now and what are the things uh, which you know. And the main thing you should add your resume there because the people who are seeing and uh, recruiting you. actually see the uh, resume of you then only they will actually recruit them they will not see that uh, what are the thing you have uploading but they will get the resume of you and they will see what are the things you have learned and they will shortlist that this is the first thing second thing nit uh, internship is one of the most famous internship like in india so more than like thousands of people used to compete it. so the competition will be like they used to filter you guys like there will be three rounds like you have a technical round you have an uh, what uh, technical round and you have a communication round and you have like mathematical solving round that actually the third round is only for best depends on the group which you are so i am an ai and data science student so i need mathematical knowledge for that work because uh, in my office i am working in a machine learning project where they need mathematics one of the most thing so they took me like i have registered and have shortlisted first thing i have got on a telephonic interview like uh, what is the thing you know what are the languages you know and uh, which college you are uh, like which college you are uh, from and what are the they thought for you and what you are capable of they asked many questions in my telephonic interview my telephonic interview was completed within 10 minutes so actually telephonic interview may take like 20 minutes or 30 minutes but i have completed my telephonic interview like 10 minutes they used to ask completely like which are the machine learning algorithm you know what are the things you need to learn like they have said and after talking to me they have completed the call hand up the call after like two days i have got an email that like you going to have an interview like this day and this time like an a one to one interview after my interview i thought i will never call and i will never get an a reply call for my nit trichy like i hope for my best after uh, one week i got a message from my Uh, HR or my maybe my boss who have recruited me. Thank you. That you have selected for NIT to change internship and the college will provide all the facilities. This that and all the formalities they have done. This is the duration of like I have done I think one month internship I think so in NIT. The one month or three month I didn't remember that. So I have completed the formalities and I went to NIT to change where the college provided me all the things like. For, uh what staying purpose and uh, like food everything the my college has provided like nit office thing third thing is after you got selected 
you should uh, like you should provide a valid dates i should provide a valid dates for your uh, staying in an institution how much days you are available because they will ask that uh, how many days you are available they may be asked like 3 months or 2 months or 1 month depends on the project so i said uh, actually i have 3 months holiday so i said i'm said uh, available for 3 months so my recruiter said uh, you can you may choose which other slots may have actually i went from like uh, yeah september to december or you may go from jan to feb march like the 3 3 months so i choose that march april may yeah three months i have chosen in my internships so in three months i have stayed in nit trichy so i have completely learned all the things uh, and settled down in my office the final thing is the after the selection process the first 10 days you get in nit trichy will be like a training program where your colleagues will teach you what to do so you, sh- you should not worry that i'm like i'm blank and what i'm going to do in my nitty trichy i don't know anything never thought never think like that because my colleagues from an iit karakpur has taught me like what to do what are the what are the work you should going to do here like they have explained me all the things after two days i started to learn my own work and i started to solve the problems which my boss have given to me and i started to work this is the process of nit trichy so if some may ask me in the comment section that it is an uh, like uh what paid internship or not paid internship or what other things you should pay to nit trichy like like of this question i have heard in my comments and my messages as well so the first thing is actually this is a government internship so it may be paid or non paid okay because it's can they will they have meant, didn't mention that we will pay this much amount because it's, there is a lot of students here and they have big big project so it may be very so you should have asked to your recruiter or your boss that uh, that they are paying to you or not paying to you for my kind recommendation to you guys if they are paying or not please go to any trichy it's one of the best campus i have ever seen in any core of your departments like you may be any like ec department or triple e department yeah you you may also get a lot of opportunities in any trichy so if you want to go in any one of the internship like nit or any startup uh, please kindly to comment in my comment section i used to help my juniors or my friends to get in any kind of internship like nits or else in the startups which will be really good for your career guys so hope you guys like this video so see you in the next video guys bye yo yo microphone check make it a microphone check give it a microphone i make the make it a microphone dead don't step to me newbie i can truly be moody i could have played the fucking grinch in the movies i've been a part time shadow